Swap Across America is coming to Chicago. Welcome to the Urban Sewing Society where we bring fashion and creativity to your neighborhood. My name is Jen and I am the Urban Sewist. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an update. All right, well, today's a little different of a video. So over the past several weeks, I have been doing videos about thrifting, a few upcycle sprinkled here and there. Um, but as you guys know, I am teaching in-person sewing classes at the Timothy Community Corporation here in the Bronzeville neighborhood. During the COVID lockdown, the Timothy Community Center pretty much shut down. Prior to them shutting down, they had a clothing closet and people were bringing clothes to be donated to people in need. Well, during the quarantine, all of that shut down and so they were left with an entire room filled with clothing why is this important because they allowed me to go in and pull items that i wanted to use to upcycle this is an upcyclers dream basically walking into a ready-made thrift store and being able to pick out and choose the items that I want to use to upcycle. So I wanted to share with you guys my quick trip over there and the items that I decided to pick up. Um, and then at the end, I'm gonna tell you why this whole process has been so important and what is coming this fall because I'm hoping that you'll be able to join us. All right. Let's get on over to the Timothy Community Corporation so that you can see the items that I picked out of their clothing closet. Over here, we've got a bunch of blazers. Um, I've told, I've asked them to hold on to these, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, we've got a bunch of men's coats, which I don't necessarily need, but we're definitely going to get those in the hands of people who need them. Um, but there are men's shirts here, so you know what that means for me. I'm definitely getting those shirts. Some men's jeans, men's tops, more men's shirts. Your girl is going to take all of these shirts, like every last one of them I'm going to take. Yes. And then more men's jackets, more shirts, and let's go over this way. Look at all of the shoes. Now, most of these shoes are a little outdated, um, but they're not in horrible condition. So I think the plan is to donate some and keep some for later. And I will tell you about the later later. And then here is another rack of clothes. Um, I'm just looking through these items. Look at that two-piece set. How about that? Hmm. I'm going to hold on to that. I feel like this is definitely something that can be upcycled or worked with. So I'm going to put that in a pile. Let's take you back over here. Got some sweaters and some blouses. Just looking through everything, not discounting anything. Oh, that's a cute pair of pants. All right. So this is what we have here. More clothes. And then over here, we've got a ton of bins with more items in them so this is an absolute treat for somebody like me who's always looking for pieces that can be upcycled and saves me a trip to the thrift store 
because I can spend today going through all of these pieces and seeing what I come up with. So I'm gonna show you a few things that I've decided to take beside the vest. Let's see what else I'm gonna take with me. Inside of one of the closets here are a bunch of belts and I will definitely be grabbing a few of these. We're gonna hold on to these belts. Um, I think that we can definitely get some use out of those. So I ended up getting some additional ties. I took all the ties that they had left. Take a look at those. Really great men's shirts. This one is a Harvey Bernard. Nice white shirts. The collars actually look pretty good on these. You all know these are getting cut up. Some of them have a little yellowing, so I may have to use a little OxyClean, maybe a little bleach to get them back to their correct color. Okay, so these are some of the shirts. I decided to go with this one. This is kind of an oversized look, but it is um, new with tags on it, and I like the fabric, so we're going with that. Here's another one with stripes. Um, this one, uh, different kind of fabric, but you know, heavyweight, but it's by Casper, so it's a good quality. And this one, I really like the color on it. It's a Van Heusen. And then we've got an Izod shirt. Again, all of these shirts, great. Like, they've had a couple clothing drives and nobody's picked them up. So I don't feel bad about grabbing these. Shirts. Hey, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an update. Okay, let's get back to my hunting for more treasures. Y'all, yeah, I just found this man's pink two-piece suit. I don't even like pink, but imagine what I could get out of this. Okay, so here in the back of the classroom, more bins with more clothes. And yeah, I think I'm going to pass on this. We've got a bunch of hangers. Um, more pants back here. I do like the idea of these green jeans and green pants and this has kind of a funky print to it so I don't know I feel like I don't need to take another thing more hangers you'll see why those are important later and then another bag of clothes and more bins so yeah so here's the complete look of the area this rack here I think I'm done going through everything. I think I've seen about as much as I could see. Um, I didn't see this striped shirt here. Yeah, I think I want to take that striped shirt. And then, oh, I think that's a good one too. Look at that Jack Daniels shirt. Somebody will want that, I'm sure. It's an Eddie Bauer flannel. Here's another one. I'm going to grab that. All right. You guys let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you feel I need to be. If there's anything else that you feel like I need to be grabbing. I still have a few days before they're going to clear everything out. So if you saw something, you're like, oh, you should get that and make so-and-so. Let me know. All right. 
All right, you guys, I just wanted to pop in today. No upcycle for you today. Um, just an opportunity to see the inside of a clothing closet. This show. Okay, that was so much fun. And I was a little exhausted by the end of it all. There was so much to go through. And I decided that um, I would separate out some of the items for them so that they could um, give away some items and keep other items. And the reason why is because, drum roll, in September, Swap Across America is coming to Chicago. Yes. So if you don't know what a swap is, let me tell you. So a swap is when you're invited to a event it can be large or small you're asked to bring five to seven pieces of clothing they either need to be new gently worn pre-loved pieces that you would feel comfortable giving to a friend so they have to be in good condition you bring them you drop them off and then you can go in and you can get as many items as you like i am helping to host swap across america in chicago the week of september 23rd through the 25th at the Timothy Community Center. So I'm going to post the information regarding the swap and the whole weekend of activities below. We're gonna start on Friday evening with a sustainable workshop, um, probably a panel discussion. We're still working out the details on the panel discussion, but we're hoping to have people on the panel who are sustainable designers and who are really promoting sustainability in our community. Then on Saturday, there is going to be an opportunity for anyone who wants to take place in an upcycling contest to go into this clothing closet, pick out items, and spend the day working on an upcycled garment that on Sunday you will have an opportunity to present as part of the contest. Also on Saturday, we will have a mini fashion show. We have some sustainable designers, including myself. I am one of the designers in the fashion show on Saturday, so I'm really excited about that. And then on Sunday, we will have the swap and the upcycling contest. Uh, contestants will show their items. So really excited about this fun-filled weekend with Swap Across America that's sponsored by Sustainable Fashion Week US as well as Brooklyn Fashion Week and many other sponsors. So I'm going to post the information below. I'll also put a slide here so that you can see more about it. And I hope that you will come to Chicago and spend the weekend with us for a sustainable fashion week and a great swap. If you don't know about swaps, you will be so pleasantly surprised to find really great items. And I'm just so excited about it. I've hosted swaps in the past and they have gone just great. So I'm really excited about doing this one here in my hometown of Chicago. All right, you guys, see you later.